boxes from China. And I don't know if this is an engine, it's fairly light if it is, or spare parts. Pretty good wrapping. Uh, I believe this is a, a new engine. What do we got here? So, beautiful little engine. You get spares of all these rubber bands, a so better quality than your average rubber band. We've got bearings in here, and for the main wheel, the, um, the wiggle of that is very little. Bearings are reasonably good. We don't have bearings everywhere in here, and some parts of that are a little bit, a little bit loose. A, uh, a push on and off switch here, voltmeter, a gas reservoir, ball bearing here, ball bearing there, so it's hardly silent. With a close look here, you can see the uh, glass cylinders and graphite piston. Also, our compression is really good. Those, those, uh, the fit of those pistons and cylinders is outstanding on this little Chinese model. So you can't, you can't uh, get that little. Thing to turn on without holding this down so we're going to hold that down turn that on now it's on now we can come over and light it so that's a little safety thing to stop kids turning it on Another of the model engines for sale on Sterling Kit and Engine DIY that really attracted my attention is this one. The whole machine is assembled by more than 150 small parts, including 12 roller bearings. This reminds me of the Japanese one that I've got, and I would be fascinated to hear how loud it is. I noticed that it's also got a little complicated sprung feet on it, so... 
Love to get that one and have a play with that. These engines theoretically can run silently. So this is the Japanese engine I have of a similar design. There's absolutely no mechanical noise. $300 US, beautifully made in Japan. No, I mean, it just runs silently. You'll want to see the difference that gas will make. It's quite spooky having a Stirling engine with no rattle at all. I think this is comparable to an engine from um, Contax, the Nano Cannon with the Ross yoke. Um, this is ballistically quick. Uh, I think for a kid, it's uh, it's got everything you want. Easy to run. Um, you know, the fuel makes it easy to run. Being gas rather than meths, it's safer. You've got a little voltmeter. You've got a little generator. You can disconnect that if you want. The quality of the anodizing, the quality of the engineering on that is, um, you know, it's it's pretty good. In summary, I think anyone would have been proud to make this little engine with its uh, high speed, low friction pistons and cylinders that don't need any lubrication. Uh, it's got cooling with a wee fan. It's got the generator, gas fired simplicity. You know, even got the little voltmeter and the switch. So yeah, fantastic little motor. I think um, good value for money and kids are going to love it. Probably 9 out of 10 would have been a perfect 10 if it had had little bearings everywhere and maybe not been so rattly. But it's a fantastic buy.